Well, we got a question, please. You were going to ask. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I have like six questions that are all running through there at the same time. Pick one. What do you say that you believe in now? Are you willing to sign something yes. to say that you can change when I, you get Let me there? say this. I believe in term limits, 10 years for congressmen, 12 years for senators. I've spent a long time in government already, you know, as, 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 a, as a public servant, but, you know, working for the CIA. You know, I could be doing a whole lot of other things than this. Mm -hmm. we, sh we should not have people serve, look, there are people here, right now in this room, that could serve, I'm sure, successfully as congressmen and senators. You know, we need to have citizens coming and going out of this. We don't need people doing this for 40 years like Mr. Schumer, because they get accustomed to spending other people's money. Will I sign this? Yes. Do people see on a blackboard? Really, pro-life, pro-guns. You know. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm Second Amendment. Yeah. Constitution. You know. I mean, look, this is about the Constitution. I think the most, the best book I read in the last ten years is, is the book I, I read maybe six months ago, and it was uh, uh, Liberty and Tyranny. Yes. You know, it's an incredible book. Incredible book. Great book. I'm a political. I'm a, I'm a political. I'm a political, so I'm a political science major. I'm a conservative. Look. I'll put my things down, this is where I am, and I'll fight to the end on it, win or lose. That's what it's going to be. When I'm in Congress, it's the same way. When I'm in the Senate, it'll be the same way. We stand by our principles. I, I, I find with someone like Senator, uh, Senator Specter, changing parties, it's disgraceful. In the end, everyone hates him. You know? You know, stand and fight. Choose your ground and defend it. It's very easy for me to choose my ground. Yes, sir. Uh, you were mentioning about the uh, Using natural gas, yes. especially from New York and stuff. There's a big controversy, uh, I guess, in the southern tier area about uh, you know, the groundwater getting polluted. You know, they start exploring for it. And they were talking about passing some I don't know, state law or state restriction. Now, how would you go about dealing with that if it's we're going to fight with the state? Uh, we're we're going to have to do that fight. And here's the reason it, the, the single greatest transfer of wealth on the planet is occurring from us to the Middle East. Some of the people we're moving the money to don't like us very much. We have to become energy producers and energy, energy exporters. We have to. It's, up, it's about nas nas our national survival. That's what it comes down to. We have to find a way to do this. Am I happy about the spill in, in, or, or this problem that they're having in the Gulf of Mexico? I'm horrified by it. But we've got to keep pumping oil. We have to we've got to find a way to do it clean. We have to, we have to work it. We have to do it better. BP's going to have to clean that mess up. But that, but we still have, we have an economy with 300 million people, we're carbon-based, we're going to be carbon-based until we can find other ways. We should look for other ways. I do not believe windmills are going to solve our problems. <laughs> Ridiculous, you know? I mean, it's, it's, it's very nice. Make a few people feel good about it, but I don't believe that. Marianne? Yes, ma'am. Uh, they just uh, recently signed a health bill with well over 2,000 pages. That's a heck of a lot of pigs. <laughs> it's not. A heck of a lot of pigs. It's not a health care bill. It's would a tax you, bill. You got it. There is no health in it. It's, yeah, all, yeah. About, it's all about power and money. But yeah. my point, yeah. you went to Congress. Are you willing to stand and say any bill that you sign can only address the title. So in other words, it can't be longer than the Constitution, 14 pages. No, I, I, no more than that, no pork attached I'll first, anywhere, I'll, no yeah, pig's feet. Yeah, I, I literally say this, the, the, the health care bill is a disgrace, 2,700 pages. There's even a provision in there for the creation of a reserve force, military force. It's quite bizarre. I think it's on page 13. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Things have been thrown into this bill. It's a tax bill. I can't say that there may be some bills that may, may need to be slightly longer than the Constitution because of certain technical natures, but 1,300 pages? Insanity. In total insanity. I agree with you. It needs to be short. It needs to be readable. I will never sign anything that I haven't read. I won't sign anything I don't understand. It's, 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 but this was not, this was, this was an ideological effort by the left to fundamentally change America. And people didn't stand against it. Yes, ma'am. What's your position towards Israel? I'm a supporter of Israel. I was the chief of Hezbollah operations in the CIA for three years. I'm the man that fought Hezbollah for America in the late 1990s. I know more about them than probably anyone in the country. I am a great supporter of Israel. 
I have a lot of friends. I'm going to say something else. I have great friends from Muslim America who fight for America too. But I support Israel. I support its borders. The, the reality is this, is that, that Iran is the great spoiler right now. Iran funds Hezbollah and Hamas against Israel. We can't allow the Iranians to have nuclear weapons. I have to mm -hmm. stop that. One, one, more, one more question, Mr. Tim? Yes, sir. Yeah, if you should be elected to Senate, would you sign the letter of bills that Congress and the Senate take a uh, cut bait? Take a what? Take a take, take a. <coughs> um, let me say this. First off, I will never take a raise. I will never vote for a raise. <coughs> I hadn't thought about taking a pay cut. Uh, but but uh, what I will say is that I will never vote for a raise. I will also not, I will vote for and try to stop the senators from having separate health care from any, anyone else. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm going to vote for a raise. I'm not going to, I, 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 I'll be honest, I haven't studied that, I haven't thought about it, I'm not going to say what it's going to be cut, what it should be cut down to, but I can promise you, I'll never take a raise, I'll never put money in there, and I will, I will uh, uh, fight to make sure that the Senate is the same health care everybody else has. <coughs> yes, ma'am. Don't have no tell. What's that? Don't have no tell. What do you say? Uh, I have no, let me just say this. Quick. I have no problem with gays in the U.S. military. We have gays in the CIA, gays in the FBI, never a problem. I have children, I had this argument with my son, and this is how I came to this position, because my son's a political commander. man. He said, Dad, gays and lesbians in the Army will serve under me, and we know they're there, they just want to serve the country. They want to fight and die for America, but God bless them. I do not believe in gay marriage stuff. I don't believe in gay marriage, uh, you know, and, and my response to that is, you know, my answer is 20,000 years of human history. Uh, that's why I don't believe it. But, but I don't have a problem with gays in another uh, Ms. Ms. Reese, one more. Yes. Sure. My understanding is that um, uh, senators in, in the Senate, they have their power through the committees they sit on. Yes, ma'am. What committees would you try to get on or Number see one yourself is tax. being on? That committee that does tax in America. That's the first one. The other one is armed services, which has a, a, an intel. But it would be taxation. This is the sink, this is the root of all of our problems. Forty-seven percent of the population paid no federal tax last year. I believe in a flat tax, fifteen percent roughly. You know, it, it, but taxation is, is is number one. Setting the tax rates. In the House of Tays. Okay, now one more. We're going to wrap this up. Can I ask one final question? As you know, I'm Tony Malay. I run the 17th district, and obviously, our case endorsed me. I would like you to sum up for our day. RFA will endorse. So why don't you sum up for RFA and as quickly as I can? Yes. Why should why should RFA endorse you? And also leave us with contact information for right. people who want to contact you or donate or whatever. I would ask that you support my candidacy uh, against Chuck Schumer because I believe that I'm I'm here to restore our government to the population, to the people. I am not someone who is owned by special interests. I've never even met a lobbyist. I'm going to have to raise money right now in the next six months through this campaign. In my first four years in the Senate, I will not raise a penny for myself. If I run for re-election, I would only raise money in those last two years because I think it's important that whoever represents you works for you, not for special interests. I'm conservative. I believe in small government. I believe in strong national security. We can do it leaner than we're doing it. I promise you that if elected to the United States and I'll the State Senate, I will come and see you again. I will come and see this group. I will come and talk to you. I would like you to help me in my campaign. I can promise you that I will always make you proud. I will do what I say. I'm a man of my word. I didn't, you know, I didn't spend my life in politics. I spent my life defending this nation. I took an oath to the Constitution when I was 18 the first time. I've taken them since then, you know, when I was in the CIA. I believe in what I've done. I sacrificed what I've done. I care about this country and I would ask for your support. Thank you.